The Gator team is this. Inti Pez, Robbie Tinkler, Jack Hunter, Fraser Kerr, Greg Olley, Luke Armstrong, Cameron Selkeld, John Mellish, J.J. O'Donnell, Tom White and Scott Bowden. Plays it out to Greg Olley. He's having to keep this in just in front of the Salford dugout. Back to John Mellish inside the gated half. He's looking forward. He's under pressure but he plays the ball forward. And that's only going to get as far as the left-back Torrio who heads the ball forward. Norton plays it with 1-2 with Gaffney and Gaffney's running back onto it and the edge of the box on the far side and that's great defending by Cameron Selkeld made him go back on himself as Torrey across the ball in it's a deep one and, and it's again oh Greg Olley didn't get up there and Adam Rooney has scored for Salford there that seemed to go in in slow motion that didn't it a um, little bit of confusion there amongst the defence but it's 1-0 to Salford City there and um, Tory had all the time in the world to put that one in. It was a deep one. And, um, well, yet the defence didn't get off the ground, did they? Horton, who's going to take the corner down here on the right-hand side. He slips as he crosses it in. And, um, well, hit the crossbar there. And that, I think, was that Walker that got the header off there? I think it might have been, or it might have been Rooney. It was Rooney. I think Pears had it covered, but he picks the ball up. He's got Walker for company. He turns back on himself. Tom White's there, plays it too. Robbie Tinkler, who's just in the centre circle, plays the ball forward for a proven ball to Salkeld. He brings it down beautifully and finds Oli. Oli plays the ball back to Skalkel. Can Skalkel get a shot off? And was he fouled? It, it's yes! a penalty! Skalkel was fouled as he was running into come. the box. And that was that just showed you the determination we were talking about before, that these young players are just keep going and he's got a reward for his efforts. And um, it's a penalty to Gated here. Armstrong steps up and he scores! Yes! It's Gated 1! Salford City won. Gets in there, Lukey boy. It shows the determination of this side. They looked a little bit rocky after they conceded, but they've grown into it as the half is going on. And just ten minutes before the half has kind of come to a close, Gates have got themselves right back in this game. And um, well, the ball's crossed in by Walker from the left-hand side, and it's nodded back in by Hogan and Hunt, uh, Hunter was there to clear the ball off the line and it's going to come all the way right in front of the Salford dugout. He's looking forward, pumps the ball forward. There's still white shirts up there. Armstrong's underneath it. He wins the header. He's found Salkeld. Can Salkeld beat his man? He's got Torrey there. Salkeld takes it down. Gets a shot off! Oh! And I feel well, from here, that looked as if it was going to go into the far side of the net. But uh, Armstrong come in, and unfortunately, it just went past the post. But Gates had shown that they are getting very dangerous in the final third. Pretty Ollie's on the ball and, and played it through. It and Armstrong's one-on-one on one with the keeper. Can he score? He puts it through. Yeah! yeah! Look, Armstrong! He set the time and we are standing there. Absolute there. chaos. What a finish. What we a said finish it's been, We said it's been coming. Oh. Turning the screw. And what composure. That's his third goal of the season. His second goal of the game. Luke Armstrong, the man on loan from Middlesbrough, has put Gateshead 2-1 in front. But Greg Ollie did well there. Put a beautiful ball through. And, well, when he got into the box, it looked like there was only one finish. Oh, brilliant. Fantastic. You know, wish I was down there with the boys, but, you know, to celebrate with them. But this is fantastic. The ball away there, making delaying the throwing. That's but, Tom White Fury. Yeah. He's like that all the time. He's like in training. Gaffney on the ball on the left-hand side. He's got two get to face for company. He's managed to turn, get down to the dead ball, then crossed it in. And it went right through, and Rooney oh. hits the post. Ro sorry, it wasn't Rooney, it was Maynard hit the post. And Rooney didn't get a good shot off, but Gates had managed to clear the ball as Bowden holds the ball up. He's dispossessed by Pugarini. Yeah. Any, anything like that. Well, the ball's played out to the right hand side. It's back to Gaffney. Gaffney lofts the ball in there, and, and it's a header away by. Um, was, it was that was Maynard again. Maynard again. And um, that was just past the post. My voice, I've got a bet for what win 3 1. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was just, just offside. Just, just off. Offside. But that's surely got to be it. And that's it! Yeah! Gateshead have beat the high big money boys of Get the National League. You can throw money in a team at this level, but you've got to have the drive, the teamwork. And Gateshead had that tonight. It's Gateshead 2, Salford 1. And it's just come on my phone, Google. Gateshead 2, Salford 1. So. I'm actually over the moon as a player. Over the moon. The boys are working their socks off. You know, two tough games. Now we can relax you now and uh, enjoy the rest of the week before we play uh, Dover on Saturday. As a Gateshead fan, I'm at an absolute loss for words because the summer that we had, there was a bit of turmoil. We didn't know we didn't have a team on the pitch. 
then we heard it was a massive budget cut and we thought well what kind of year are we going to have I know it's only two games but what a start this is to the National League season for these young lads and we've said it in pre-season we've said it throughout this game it looks like there's more to come from these young lads as well it is it is there's more to come you know we've got a, this, a group of lads we got is fantastic you can hear the round of applause the boys again now it's it's unbelievable it's, never, it's not been here like last season when we were here last year only a few times but this this is this is fantastic to see for the fans they deserve it um, it basically I, to, in my eyes and also I don't want to be biased because I'm a player but I thought they fully deserve the result the boys deserve it the gaffer deserves it the whole club the and the fans deserve it as well because you know we're all in this together this year yeah. not just the players on the pitch not just the, the, the staff it's the Ho whole club hopefully you can hear in the background the gates of fans are giving a fantastic reception there's a great atmosphere here at the gates of the international stadium today and normally this type of reception you would put for a cup win wouldn't you That's yeah it was basically this is the kind of reception where we played late Norwich last year we won 3-2 in, in, uh, in, in extra time but this is this is fantastic you know great start of the season again everyone written us off but like I said, we had, we had uh, a motivational speaker come in uh, before the game against Mainhead. And he just said, look, he said the sparring, like, take us a boxing match. The sparring's over, which is the pre-season. Now we're in for the fight. Now we've done round one and round two. Now it's round three on Saturday against Dover.